The company that wants to move a casino to New Haven has released a study to show the, in, the economic impact of the possible move. Wayne 15's Dirk Raleigh breaks down those numbers. Full House Resorts released this study from CBRE, a global commercial real estate broker. They say by year three, the $250 million casino would generate over $80 million in tax revenue annually, including $53 million for the state, $18 million for the city of New Haven, and $11 million split between Allen County, East Allen County Schools, and the library, and so on. They also say the new jobs would amount to about $130 million in annual wages and salaries, predominantly in New Haven and Fort Wayne. To calm state lawmakers, the report says nearby casinos in Anderson and South Bend would lose about $17 million, but a new New Haven casino would take $40 million away from casinos in Michigan and Ohio. And the study says most customers in southern Indiana, where the casino is now, would largely still gamble at nearby Indiana casinos. A spokesman for Full House Resort said CBRE was chosen because they are, quote, a nationally recognized advisory firm providing independent studies. However, the spokesman would not comment on how much CBRE was paid. To read the entire economic impact study, head to Wayne.com. Dirk Rowley, Wayne 15 News.